This is a really quick video on how I color grade my images. So I'm going to show you how to get your image from this to this. Really quickly, we're going to go jump over into DaVinci Resolve. This right here is just a quick, um, quick example of how I get this image. So over here um, on all of these nodes, this is my basic correction right here. Um, and these are my color nodes. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset these real quick. First things first, I'm gonna go to the qualifier tab, which is right here. And then I go and I click this guy. Once I click the selection tool, I click my skin tone. And then I go up here and I click this little magic uh, wand tool. So this shows me exactly what I'm selecting. So now um, I'm gonna go ahead and widen out the skin tone range. Make sure that I'm picking up all of skin. I'm going to adjust my luminance and try and get most of what's in that luminance value. And then saturation, anything that's overly saturated, I'm gonna kind of widen this out a little bit more. Bring it off of the yellows because I don't necessarily need as much of the yellow. Bring it into no saturation and stuff. Um, bring down the luminance, make sure we get a good skin. Cool. So I think they were getting a pretty good amount. So now I'm gonna flip the mask. So obviously you can tell that pretty much just grabs my arms, what's over here, my face, a little bit on the computer. So now that's a really good grab. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the color wheels. I'm gonna take this color wheel and I'm gonna drag it down into the teals. And now I'm gonna turn off this little color wand and that's a really quick way to add the greens and the teals. I'm gonna create a new node. So add node, add serial, and then you get this. So once I'm here with this node, I'm gonna go over to Loom versus Saturation, which is in the Curves tab, and it is like the second to the last one. I click right around here because I notice there's a lot of noise in the image uh, in the darks. So once I'm there, I'm gonna make sure this is still at one and then I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna make another selection here. I'm gonna bring that down. Basically what that's doing is that's pulling out the saturation and the darks. So that's making the blacks still black. And then that's, that's it. That's quickly how I turn this into this. And it's really quite just as simple as that. I hope this helped you out. And uh, if it did, go ahead and leave a thumbs up or like, subscribe, do whatever. Um, and uh, hopefully you can get your images to look a little bit better.